you know, you're one of the players that are now on the rise in today's game. And um, I want to ask you, how do you feel about your role on the Celtics? Um, I just I just do with the best I can with, with the cards that I've been given. You know, I just come out, try to play hard um, and add to winning as best as possible. I think everything, um, everybody's happy when you win. So as long as we win, I'm fine with everything. I don't make the decisions, but uh, I come out and try to play hard and, and add to winning and be a good teammate. Well, how hard was that adjustment? Because last year, you and, and Jason Tatum and, and Terry Rozier, you guys, because of the circumstances, you got to play a role that maybe that's where you see yourself going in this league as a, this kind of player. Right. And then this year, because you got more talent, everyone's healthy, you got to take a step back a little. How hard is that adjustment going from getting a taste of what that could be like to, you know, having to curb back a little? It's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, mentally, physically, everything, when you just happen to adjust to the league. But, I mean, a part of this business that we're in is, is being mature and, and, and handling it the right way. So um, being professional and stuff like that. So um, I've taken it and I've, I've learned and actually has made me a lot better as a basketball player and as a person than I expected. There's been a lot of rumblings about maybe you should be starting again now. Have you talked to Coach Stevens about that? Um, nah, to be honest, it's, it's not, it's none of my business, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, it's your business, it's, it's, your business. it's it definitely your business, it definitely but I understand is. you're not making that decision. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter to me, as long as we keep winning, I'm going to just do um, the best I can uh, to, to be the best version of myself and help this team win. All right, well, speaking of winning, you guys are two games into this West Coast road trip. You play the Lakers on ABC tomorrow night, um, and it's going well so far. You guys beat the Warriors, thump the Warriors, let's be honest. Had an exciting win in Sacramento. How has that brought you guys together? Kyrie's already talking about the plane trip was good for you guys. Yeah, we're excited. We're, we're definitely excited. The, the West Coast trip has been a success for us so far. Uh, we just want to keep out coming out and adding to it. You know, everybody's happy right now. I think just the, the warm weather. <laughs> it, it, it does it, wonders, right? <laughs> yeah, it does. It does something to the atmosphere. So we've been coming out. We've been playing hard, and we're looking forward to playing the Lakers uh, on Saturday. Jalen, like you, uh, you guys, the Celtics for the last couple of years have played the Warriors really well. What is it about them that you guys? What is it about that matchup that allows you to be competitive with them? I think we look forward to it. Of course, when you when you playing against the the, the reigning champs, you want to come out and be locked in. So I think our system is great. I think Brad Stevens has a great system that uh, can defend the Warriors really well. And if we stick to it and we're locked in, I think we can always give ourselves a chance to win. I mean, look, there's been a lot of conversation you got with about you guys how can they put the pieces together we know they have the talent so and so said this so and so said that so and so called this person well this person said this person <laughs> how, how do you deal with that especially um, when it's like one of the leaders of your team Kyrie Irving that has been saying some of this stuff publicly and sometimes about you um, you just keep going at the end of the day like uh, Brad Stevens believes in uh, a participatory democracy like everybody's a leader okay so it's not just on one person it's on it's on all of us so we come out and try to govern ourselves the best way possible and um, help we help each other succeed sometimes it's tough sometimes it's ups and downs I've experienced this the first time I've experienced it in my career where it's been the media so strong as in like the presence but um, that's a part of the league you know this is where the league is going the media it's going to still continue to be there. It's not going to stop. So uh, I'm just trying to embrace and get used to it now. A quick question for you. As you're going through these kind of trials and tribulations, who's the vet that you turn to and ask, hey, old school, tell me how to handle this? Kind of the same way you just asked Scotty about lockouts. Who do you turn to when you ask, have going through these things? Um, for the most part, Al Horford. I feel Al's been in the league for a significant amount of time. He's been an all-star. He's been on great teams. He hasn't been a champion yet. Hopefully, we're trying to, to get him over that, that hump. But uh, Al is one of those guys that everybody leans on just because his, his demeanor, uh, he carries himself. He's just a high character dude. So um, you'll never hear me say anything bad about Al <laughs> because uh, <laughs> he's such a great guy. He's so chill. He's so much fun. Yeah. Imagine now, though, that Scotty Pippen was one of the vets on your team. You got one of the greatest players of all time sitting next to you, greatest defenders of all time sitting next to you. What do you want to ask him? What does it take to win a championship? Well, I mean, I think you you guys got a lot of it, and that's talent. Um, I just think, you know, when you have as much talent as you guys have, you have to have guys that are willing to sacrifice and play play their role. And you, you guys got as much talent as any team in the league. And it's just really about you guys accepting and playing the right role.
There you go. Right. I don't know. Now, normally when we have a guest on here, we'll do like a whole long segment about what were you thinking, yeah. but you yes. are, you're young enough. We're not going to sit here and break down <laughs> yeah. just two a couple seasons of your career. We're going to just throw you one question and All know right. that you're going to come back and hang out with us. And each time yes. you come back, we'll just build the what were you thinking for you <laughs> okay. as you build up more time in the league. I do have to cool. ask, what were you thinking, Jalen Brown, when you dunked on Chris Dapps Porzingis? Oh, He's a little taller than you. Oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> What's going through your head as you came down here? You in and out. No. 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 Oh. No. oh. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like it's show. He's going to see that. <laughs> oh, that was a uh, great change, though. Shout out, shout out to Chris. He's going to have a great year next year. Uh, he tried to put his hand in your chest, too, to stop you. That, that didn't work, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> nasty dunk. No, no, no. Rachel, I got one more question. Okay. Because Al Horford's his vet. What's the deal where he is at the free throw oh. line where he flinches? Why does he do that? <laughs> I have no idea. I think the media started catching on to it and he just started rolling with it. So he does it all the time. You think he's doing it on time. purpose now? I think he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> he was not doing it on purpose for for a while because we have like documented. In Atlanta, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but now I think it's a part of the whole <laughs> brand or something. I love it though. Every time he does it, he does it in uh, practice. There you go. Now <laughs> you need to start doing it. Could be a whole thing. The whole yeah. team could do it. it could yeah. be like a bench celebration. Like when he does well, the bench could be like right and flinch. Like it yeah, could be yeah, good. Yeah. We might maybe we'll see it tomorrow. Big game against the Lakers tomorrow. Good luck with that. Thank you. Uh, good luck with the playoff push. We are in the final, final 15, 18 games of the season, and then it all counts a lot. Let's get it. Then the real right. games begin. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get it.